Hi everyone, Tony from Act the Movies here, and we're going to talk about everyone's favorite Indiana Jones movie, because it's probably the one they watched first, even though it's not as good as the other two. Today on Talking <laughs> About Tapes! Talk, 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 talking about tapes. Hello, Johanna. Hello, Tony. Are you excited to talk about everyone's favorite Indiana Jones movie? Yeah, I'm ready to talk about why it's probably... What? Third in my lineup. Yeah, same, yeah. same. Yeah, it's okay. It's a it's a fine movie. Uh, I guess they realized they needed to course correct after the last one. Well, they just went right back to Nazis. It's yeah, more, they did, and like not Nazis. even not even just the Nazis, which I got to complain about later. Um, a big shock. I have a complaint about the Nazis. <laughs> oh, uh, <love> you. <laughs> yeah, not just that. Just it feels like they're. Doing what a normal sequel would do. We we're like, let's just do the same thing again, but just try to up a little. Like, Temple felt different and fresh. It was trying to be bigger and better, but this feels like they're really just trying to do, like, the same action beats, kind of. It's like, oh, there's another desert. There, yeah, there's another desert chase. And, the, yeah, it just... I don't know. We got to find another map that yeah. leads us to the thing, whereas Temple of Doom wasn't like that. They just wandered in the village and like, yeah. oh, no, the thing's over there. Can you go get it for us? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there's a few twists and turns in this. There's a few things they added to make it feel different. Uh, what I do like is that this definitely felt like the closing of a... It felt like a final adventure. It's even called The Last Crusade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it felt like a good ending. Now, I think we talked about in the previous one. This is the one I saw first. I, I forget. Is that is this the one you saw first? Ever? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, it was for me just cause this was the newest one. Mm -hmm. So every movie from 1989, cause that's when I was born. Like I was, cause they were playing on TV yeah. all the time. Uh, yeah. And I always liked it. I always liked it. But when I went back and watched the series, I liked those two more. Yeah. Going through this rewatch, I was like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Like it, again, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Just, like, it's just, I, I'm just watching the more like things happen. I'm just like. Yeah, there's this is the one that everybody likes. Yeah, there's a few uh, things in it, like especially effects wise, which I'll get to. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they got a little, they got a little ahead of themselves yeah. there. Uh, I don't think this was affected by the writer strike. Um, I forgot to look into it because there was a writer strike at the time, which we talked about a lot in our Batman '89 review. What's happening right now? Yeah, that's what happened right now. Because a couple movies were affected by that, and I brought brought them up before Halloween Four. Mm. Which is why that movie is just like kind of a retry to Halloween one, mm. uh, and like Star Trek Five was another one. Um, but yes, uh, let's get into this wonderful film now. I just wanted you to know uh, they took these off Amazon Prime, and I don't have Paramount Plus. Oh, thank God I have three copies of it on VHS, so I watched it on VHS. Uh, and we mentioned I have Paramount Plus. Why don't you just message me? I thought it'd be funnier. Okay, and so I would watched it on VHS. Yeah, and I would have missed it. I would have missed this. So we talked about Batman 89, the Diet Coke commercial that plays where it's Alfred calling the store. And it's like, someone will be picking up a Diet Coke. He'll be driving a black car. This one will be hard to miss. And I, I remember that commercial B for B because I had that tape. I didn't realize that uh, Last Crusade also had a Diet Coke commercial and it's so much fucking better. <laughs> Holy shit, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, you sent that to me and I was giggling. I didn't know, because I, I don't think I've, I don't, probably haven't watched this on VHS since, like, maybe I rented it in the 90s. I never owned it. So, yeah, it's like, basically, this guy's like, hey, woman, go grab me a drink. While you're up, would you get me a soft drink? Indiana Jones starts to happen. There's the cool shadow behind her, and then there's, like, traps, and then the fucking kitchen breaks in half. It's, like, <laughs> insane. Indiana Jones shows up, and he whips the Diet Coke can. And I'm like, this. they put a lot of work into this. Where's the Batman yeah, you one? You said it to me, and you're like, this commercial is great. <laughs> Where's the Batman one? It's just Alfred going on the phone being like, oh, and then stock footage of Michael Keaton. Um, but yeah, so if you have this on VHS, check out the Diet Coke commercial. By the way, Johanna. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. Ah. I'm drinking water out of my people mover bottle. Know where the people mover is located? Yeah, the theme park attached to the people who are going to ruin Indiana Jones. They already did, ruined it. Like they're, That's the funny <laughs> thing. Disney just buys stuff that's already ruined, and they're like, how can we make it worse? <laughs> how can we make it worse? Now, I kind of like the fake out in the beginning of this movie. Where, you know, it's the you see the Boy Scouts getting off yeah. their horses, uh, and they go into the mountain. They Obviously, they do the dissolve. and You, you know, think that's Indy? 
you think it's Indy. Yeah. And as a kid, I didn't know who Indiana Jones was when I first watched this. So I was like, okay. who's that guy? What's that guy all about? So it was very confused. So it didn't work on me. It's one of those, like, I think it only works if you're aware who Indiana yeah. Jones is. Uh, but no, we find out that this is Utah in 1912, which makes me think, is Indiana Jones a Mormon? When will he look for the gold plates? Do you think they're going to circle back to Mormons? So was this always going to be the plan, the showing him younger? Or did they just throw this in just to like put the joke about the well, uh, scar? Well, there was the show after this, which wasn't Wizard for Phoenix, but they did do that show, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Mm. So this feels like it might have been a... Although, wait, was that first? Hold on, let me see something. Young Indiana Jones comes out in 1992. So I think they were testing the waters okay. with this one. Uh, but yes, it stars River Phoenix. Oh, Rest in peace, who I think the Red Hot Chili Peppers guy did a bunch of drugs with. I was reading about it today, and apparently he said to someone, I think I'm having an overdose. And they said, you can stand. You're not overdosing. And then he died that night. Um, the young River Phoenix, uh, he sees them taking the Cross of Coronado. Now, usually... It belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> that cross is an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. And I like the whole thing where, like, he sees the snake and he's not scared of it. And you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. He's supposed to be scared of snakes. Anyway, uh, the Cross of Coronado, uh, I think this is the only time where the artifact, it's not directly related to the main artifact, but it has like some kind of connection because it's both yeah. Christian. Whereas like the idol had nothing to do with the Ark. The, yeah. The, the, the Herbachi. I still haven't learned the guy's name. The, the, the ashes of Herbachi. I don't even know his fucking name. Had nothing to do with the Sankara stones. Yes. But this time there is somewhat of a connection. Yeah, he realizes he's going to go uh, he's gonna go steal the thing from them. Because it belongs in a museum. Yes, it belongs in a museum. Remember that white, you ever see that whitest kid you know skit? Yes. Frampton is dead and so are all of his grandchildren. Then it belongs in a museum. Dr. Jones, sit down. So yeah, he goes to steal the cross and they all catch him. Uh, and now he's on this exciting chase. And then this is, I hate this. I hate this so much. Which? This whole sequence oh, here. The, 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 the whole animals or whatever. I'm sorry. I was giggling even though it looks like shit. The yeah. giraffes just sticking their heads out. <laughs> so, and I actually just brought this in as a problem because this isn't the only movie that did it. This is probably the most famous one. Mm. The problem of rushed origin stories. Mm. So Indiana Jones, as a kid, he, he jumps on this train. And then he falls into one pit full of snakes. And that's where he gets his snake fear from. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Oh, no, you'll never believe it. He falls into another train car and there's a lion. How does he get rid of that lion? Oh, with this whip that happened to be there. And that's not enough because he accidentally hits himself in the chin. And now he has a scar like Harrison Ford. Now, I know, Johanna, you mm. probably when you watched the first two movies, you were like, I really want to enjoy these. But how the fuck did he get that scar? <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill myself if I don't know where Indiana Jones got his fucking scar. It's just like Star Wars. Mark Hamill. I, I was like, oh, God. Like, yeah. What's going on with this face? They, and they had to explain it. No, no. The Mark, the Mark Hamill <laughs> no, one. Know, that that know, one made a little bit more <laughs> no, sense. Because it's like, what the fuck happened to Luke in between <laughs> movies? But Harrison already had it. It's like, I know. It's, just assume he's like, he's a tough, grizzled guy. Probably got it from something. Uh, but no, they had to show that. And it's like... And the you... hat. Oh, oh, The hat was oh. so stupid. Oh, oh. So the guy is dressed like Indiana Jones. So it's Indiana Jones is like, hmm, I like that guy's style. So he got his wardrobe, his fear of snakes, and his skills with the, the whip. And this is technically his first adventure. All in an afternoon. I I get it. It's like funny, but it's just... Like, when you think about it, you're like, this is, this is kind of... I don't like that he became Indiana yeah. Jones in one day. That's kind of fucking dumb. It's, it's stupid. I still think the worst one recently is uh, the Pirates of the Car the last Pirates of the Caribbean. Where in I know where Johnny Depp became Jack Sparrow in ten minutes. The Rhino. <laughs> the sound the Rhino makes sounds like a dinosaur from Jurassic Park. And then I thought about it. I'm like, oh no, I think they just used Rhino sounds for Jurassic Park. So, question about the Rhino. Yeah. So there was a. Big amount of space between that rhino's horn, yeah, and the ceiling. Yeah, w was he like jumping? Yeah, he jumped. Push his. He jumped. Okay. He had a trampoline. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That was the trampolining rhino. Mm. It was oh, big. That's a trick. Yeah. Yeah, it was big in Utah. Mm. It was big in Utah uh, at the okay. time. 
Uh, yeah, so he <laughs> uses the magic cart to get out of the <laughs> um, the train, which I thought was fun. He goes home and he tries to alert his dad, Henry, but his, his dad Dad's is not paying attention to him. He's got other things to worry Neglecting about. Neglecting his son. Neglecting his son. But I actually, when we get to the scene of them calling, when he calls out his dad, I'll explain why the dad wasn't very good at being a dad. So yeah, he's so proud that he found this cross. And he's alerting the cops. Oh, that he stole the cross. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the cops were going to do. Like, maybe those people had a permit to dig there? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Like, were they illegally digging? Like, maybe even have some kind of a case. But it's just like, no, a guy hired them to dig. I'm sure that it was all legal. Like, it's not for you to say. So, yeah, the cops are like, thank, we're, thank you. We're going to give it to its rightful owner, which is this rich guy. Which I now realize today. I'm like, oh, he's wearing a white suit with a red flower. It's like. Like Indiana Jones and Temple of the Doom. Like, does Indy just dress like people he hates? <laughs> in Dial of Destiny. He's like, I hate you, but man, you got style. <laughs> in Dial of Destiny, when his goddaughter, who's definitely going to ruin the movie, shows up to ruin the Woke. movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, she did such a good job as the fucking robot in Han Solo. Um, That's who that is? Yeah. She also helped write the last uh, Daniel Craig James Bond movie, which was fucking garbage. Um, so, yeah. The finale? One? The No Time to Die, yeah. Where they ripped off the siphon filter virus. I, I watched it. I don't I, It was terrible. I thought it was fine. Nah, it was bad. Um, so, yeah. So, when she comes to, like, ruin the movie, uh, is Harrison Ford going to open it wearing, like, horns to look like Bolaram to fit Can you with you imagine? The... <laughs> you think there's going to be a scene where he... It, it came to him with a crystal skull. He should have been imagine? wearing... He should have been wearing, like, the Jewish robe that uh, Belloc had. <laughs> It's like, I like to dress like the people I hate. It's my favorite thing to do. Because <laughs> this is twice now. He dressed up like the guy who screwed him over, who gave him the hat, and then he dressed up like this white suit guy. Why not continue the tradition? Indiana Jones 6 is going to be dressed as Hitler. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, no, he does dress up like a Nazi in this one. Yes, he does. <laughs> he just keeps dressing up like people he hates. <laughs> And the fact that he hasn't dressed up like Molaram makes me think he regretted his decision. He's like, you know, Molaram, I could have let, I could have fixed him. I could have fixed him. Instead, oh I fed him the alligator. Uh, but I do like, I do kind of like <laughs> the transition with the hat. If it had just been the hat, I would have been fine. It's I, the, yeah, it's everything it's, it's, else. It's the is fucking too snakes much. and the whip, and it's like that's too fucking uh, much. Uh, you don't even need to explain the snake stuff because some people are just scared of snakes. Like, yeah. Why does it have to be a thing? I don't fucking know because it was a stupid idea. It has been parodied. I'll give them that. Some people have parodied this kind of convoluted origin, mm -hmm. so at least there's something there. We're gonna do that one day. We're gonna do a hack movie's origin. Oh my god. <laughs> So well, years there later, there's an origin story about you. Huh? There's an origin story about you already. There is. Yeah, Smurf the movie. Oh God, no. <laughs> uh, so then we flash to 1938. That rich guy is still wearing the white suit and red flower in the middle of the ocean. I feel like he could go casual. He's not really entertaining people. Uh, he likes to be fancy. Yeah. So Indiana Jones like went to school, got his doctorate, did all this. And he still wants that cross. Like, this is the longest vendetta he's ever had. <laughs> and even the guy's like, this is the second time I had to take this from Belong you. What's your to the museum. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Indy, um, you know, he murders that man and takes his rifle property. <laughs> Murdered. Him. He, like, straight up murders him. <laughs> like. He really wants that cross in a museum. Like, sorry. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I know it sucks, but, like, that, the bag, like, the guy said, you lost today. But you don't have to like it. It's like, Indy, look, you're not getting that cross back. Sorry. Maybe maybe when he dies. He doesn't and he, like to lose. I know. But, like, maybe when he dies, you know, there'll be an auction or something. But, like, maybe maybe let this one go. Maybe, no. How about you find something more valuable, <laughs> get money from it, and just buy the cross from the guy? Anyway, uh, so that guy's dead. He murdered him. Yeah. Um, also, Indy's a hypocrite <clears throat> when he's teaching his kids. Yeah. What the fuck was that? He's like, you're not going to go on adventures. You're not going to. There's no maps to hidden treasure. No X marks the spot. No X marks the spot. All your stuff is done in the library. It's like, motherfucker, you go on so many adventures. Because well, he's Indiana Jones. Yeah. He has the hat and the whip. This is and the scar. This is typical boomer behavior. <laughs> boomer behavior. Uh, I don't ever want to retire and give up, so I'm going to screw younger generations. So he's spreading out this false propaganda. 
that it's like, oh, being an archaeologist, it's it's boring. You're in a library. Definitely don't go to Egypt and be competition with me. Uh, so, yeah, Indy's the bad guy. Um, but for some reason, everyone loves him still. His student. The girls aren't fawning as much as, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the last one. I don't know. I feel like more girls are fawning in this. They're not. It's not. There's a lot of girls in the class or whatever, which, you know, girls are not taking this class unless the doctor or the doctor, the yeah. uh, freaking teacher's hot. But like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Doctor. He's a doctor too, technically. Yeah. Um, but in the, uh, what was it? Raiders? Or Raiders. With the love li you. Literally. Yeah. Like it was like blatant. Like it was just like, ah. this one, they're just kind of like, hmm. By the way, I was going to invite Doug from Good Times, Great Movies. Mm hmm. I was like, hey, man, you want to do the third one? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm in Egypt right now killing people. I'm looking for the Sphinx of Dr. Jinx. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. I just made up a name. <laughs> you could say, like, an Egyptian god. Like, <laughs> I couldn't think of any. Anubis? Yeah, Horus? sure. Like sure, that. The Sphinx of Anubis. He's looking for that. So that's where Doug from Good Times, Great Movies is. Sphinx of Anubis. And okay. I'm like, I'm like, well, you know, I guess it is it's school out of session right now. <laughs> Anyway, he's just a normal college professor, that Doug. But he goes on so many adventures, it turns out. He's just a normal guy? Yeah. Uh, I normal do like men. <laughs> it's a normal <laughs> man. We always go on adventures. You're too busy cooking. You don't notice us going true. on adventures. It's true. I have to make sure you guys are well-fed and able to keep your stamina. And yeah. <laughs> and you better put those gloves on and put the medicine on the dog, okay? I don't care if you're pregnant. Bro, what's fucked? That video was so fucked. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> anyway. Stop bringing up politics in our Indiana Jones thing. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> um, so, yeah, Indy is just like, everyone needs to talk to him, apparently. All his students. He's got, like, an assistant. He's like, you haven't regraded these papers. <laughs> like, there's probably, like, some poor kids who can't graduate because Indy hasn't graded any of their assignments. Because he's in Venice banging German bras or something. They're like, Mr. Jones, or Dr. Jones, I, I'd really like to graduate this year. I was supposed to graduate three semesters ago. Will you please grade my paper? Uh, put an A on it. Don't, uh, you don't even have to read it. Just put an A on it. Yeah. Some type of <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think at this point he tells Marcus about the, what we call it, the cross. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So then he goes to his office. Which sucks. It's in the middle of a yeah. closet. Uh, and he gets a package from Venice and he's like, I'm gonna just dip out and go home, but he's being stalked by people. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. So then he gets invited to Walter Donovan's place, who was also known as. Yeah. You know, you've been so obsessed with Porgs, you forgot about the real people in Star Wars. Walter Donovan is General Veers from Empire Strikes Back. Their shields will be down a moment. Moments. You, you may start your landing. Remember that guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's him. How did you not recognize him? So anyway, poor. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he shows up a tablet, and he's like, hey, this tablet uh, can lead to the Holy Grail. And <sighs> Monty Python? Yeah. Oh, he should have said that. Like, oh, the, the thing from Monty grenade. Python? <laughs> Which I saw the king not to bring up politics again. You bring did you see his finger? Oh, yeah, he's had sausage fingers. That... No, it's just the one finger. Yeah, it was weird. That made fun of that. Dude, ago. he's like about to die. This is going to be fucking hilarious. Oh, that's got to suck to wait your whole life yeah. to be king and your bitch mom. Your mom well, literally refuses to fucking die. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, mom, will you just fucking die so I can be king? And he's like, well, now I'm king and everyone fucking hates us. Great. Great. Thanks. It would have been awesome if I was king in the 90s, mom. Anyway. Um... Yeah, he had the thing, and it looked like the holy hand. Yeah, it was all over out. Twitter. I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> what a good movie! And then people were comparing him to Snoke because the gold robe. It's like, how do you guys fucking remember what Snoke looked like? Snoke is what they went with because the gold robe. And I'm like, no one remembers Snoke. He's the most I mean, I remember Snoke, but like he didn't do anything. And if I'm making a comparison, I wouldn't bring up Snoke. It was just like, the gold robe thing. I'm like, how do you remember what he was wearing? Whatever. How do you remember anything from those movies? Anyway. Um, well, Porgs. <laughs> so, the tablet hints to the Holy Grail where you can get eternal life. Uh, and then we find out this whole backstory here where there were three brothers who went into the desert. Only two returned. A hundred years later. 
Ooh. And then one of them didn't make it. And then the other one just told some priest. He's like, here's everything you need to know. I'm going to die now. Bye. And then he died. Uh, so they need to find the second half of the tablet, which is buried with the knight in Venice, Italy. You got to go to Italy. Mamma mia. That, that was a deleted scene. They were like, you have to go to Venice, Italy. And then Indiana Jones went, mamma mia, pasta. There's an extra incentive to go on this mission because it turns out Indy's father. is missing. Your father is the man who's disappeared. He's missing and he was part of it. So he's not really in it for the Holy Grail, which he questions whether it's real or not. And it's like, Indy, why? After everything after, else, like, yeah. Like, seriously? Especially after Temple of Doom. Yeah, Temple of Doom and fucking the- You literally the saw people getting their hearts ripped out, like, and still being alive afterwards. Yeah. Well, again, I feel like, you know, he converts to a different religion each time. Oh, my God. Which is why the last Indiana Jones movie needs to be about the golden plates <laughs> for the Book of Mormon so he can return to being a, a uh, faithful Mormon. Because we notice he's not wearing that Mormon underwear when he takes his clothes off because he lost his faith because he found out all these other religions are true. <laughs> He's like, sorry, I'm not a Mormon anymore. I'm a South American alien worshiper. <laughs> Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> Good Lord. There are aliens in that I, one. I remember. How does he try to how does he try to justify Jesus, Shiva, and aliens? That probably might mess with his head. <laughs> so anyway, he finds out that the package he got was his father's journal that was sent to him. And he's like, okay, this is gonna help us. And then for some reason, Marcus Brody's going on the adventure. I yeah. I guess they figured it's the last one. Let's huh. bring him back. But I'm like, he wasn't even in the second one. Whatever. He has like two or three scenes in the first one. I never really... He was a good actor and everything, but I was never like, I can't wait for Marcus to show up again. And like, no. Sure brought Alfred back. Alfred Molina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little hard. They could have recast him. We find out in this movie, several people are recast. Just give him a beard. <laughs> it's so different. Yeah. He's a different person. You killed my brother. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Walter Donovan gives Indiana Jones great advice. Don't trust anybody. Yeah. Meanwhile. But meanwhile. Um, and I have here, Alice in Duty is hot as hell. Dr. Elsa Schneider. How do you do? Why was she not in more movies after this? She was in a couple big... I don't know. She was in a couple big movies, and then she was in a bunch of TV stuff. She's still in movies, like I said before this. I told you she's in RRR, which you I still haven't seen. You really need to watch it. It's like three hours. You, it, just please. <laughs> it's three. Is there a penis monster in it? Because the last three hours. There's hour, no eyeball mutilation. The last three hour movie I saw had a penis monster in it. And it's the best thing I've seen all year. So if you can get. Oh, you like penis monsters? Joanna, if Bo, mm -hmm. if Bo is afraid mm -hmm. is still in theaters, you're going to want to go see that. No, with I, I want to see it. You're really going to want to go see that with an audience. <laughs> that was one of the most fun things. We have a full review for it. Uh, <laughs> when the penis thing showed up, everyone in the audience went, <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> no one was expecting it. it was, I, I feel bad saying it because I feel like I spoiled it, but it was the most shocking thing I've ever seen. Anyway, um, but yeah, I thought she'd be in more things. She's like in yeah. like nothing I've seen. Uh, but yeah, she's Dr. Elsa Schneider. Elsa. Elsa. And I'm so glad. So they do the whole thing. You're like, do you know this Dr. Schneider guy? And it turns out to be a woman. But they don't do a lot of movies do that where they're like, you're Dr. Schneider. Mm. Instead, they're like, oh, it's a chick. Because I hate that goddamn trope. And they're still doing it in movies today. Yeah. What was the uh, one? we? A Kong Skull Island. Yep. Uh, you're the photographer. And Brie Larson's like, yeah. And then what is it? The Snyder Cut did it too. Where the guy just assumes the, the dude's mom isn't a doctor. And she's like, it's doctor. And he's like, okay, okay. So they explore the library, which is kind of fun because he said, all your work will be done in the library. Uh, and then there's another fun callback to the X marks the mm -hmm. spot because they're looking at the Roman numerals. I'm like, that's funny. That's funny. So it turns out the library is literally where the night is. Doesn't lead to the night. The night is literally down there. It's on top of the catacombs. Yes. Uh, and there's a fun gag where he's like banging the ground while the guy's stamping the books. I did enjoy that. That, yeah. was, that was, that got me, that was giggling. <laughs> yeah. There are like a lot of like wacky stuff like this, like that in this. Um, again, I don't know. They said they wanted to go lighthearted and whatnot, but I'm like, I don't know. The second one was kind of funny. It's only like a few scenes that are super violent. Yeah. But also the first movie, like you could have just went back to like the first movie is also violent, but also kind of fun. I don't know why they felt the need to be, like, even more. Like, this one doesn't seem as bloody as the other two. Yeah. Yeah. 
He doesn't shoot anyone in the head driving a truck in this yeah, one. Yeah, there's like, there's really like nothing. Like we got melty faces in the first one, whatever. Yeah. Rip, hearts ripped out in the second yeah. or whatever. And then, but even Indy himself, like he kills people in this, but not it's as not, cool. Yeah, not as cool. No but, one's getting crushed in a grinder in this. No one's getting shredded by propeller blades. Well, it's just what we just see. Uh, the dad gets shot, and then the other guy ages backwards, basically. Yeah. Or no, accelerates in age. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. That's that's really like... I heard they updated the Indiana Jones experience at Walt Disney World, uh, Land. Apparently, they've changed it to where, like, the, the, the people in the audience don't participate anymore. They, like, got rid of the guns. Uh, they make it seem... Like the like live show? Yeah. I've never seen it. Really? Yeah, I went to watch it one time or whatever, but they were like completely full and it was like standing room only. And I'm like, I'm not standing in no. 90 degree Florida heat. I saw it the last when we all went. I didn't get to see no. it. I've been on the ride in well, Disneyland. They, they said that Dis I think it might be the one in Disneyland has like apparently been super sanitized. I'm like, when I saw it a couple of years ago, it seemed fine. But apparently they're, yeah, you know, this is another thing Disney's trying to ruin. They've already ruined Star Tours. I will never go on They're that. updating it again. Oh, what? Why? Why? Probably Why? Probably fixing it. <laughs> what? Probably fixing no, it. No, they're going to make it worse. It was already fine. It was fine? Is the is the little robot going to be the host of the ride? Or is it still C-3PO? It's 3PO because... Oh, fuck it. No, they're... Uh, uh, Rex is in uh, the cantina. I can't believe they... And he DJs. I can't believe he's they like kicked this. him out of his own ride. He's like this. But he's a DJ now. He's living his life. No, that sucks. No, go to the, go to the cantina. I guarantee it's it's fine. Star Tours used to be a lot of fun, and they ruined it. Were you ever the Rebel Spy? What? You said you went on Star Tours before. Were you ever the Rebel Spy? The original Star Tours? Any of them? No, I'm talking about the original Star yeah, Tours. Yeah, were you a Rebel night? Spy? No. Oh, I was, bitch. I just remember it was a little robot going like, "Let's go on a tour." Oh no, we're stuck here. And now it's like, I'm C-3PO. Here's Jar Jar Binks. I literally walked out of that ride and looked at the lady and I went, is there a version of this that doesn't have Jar Jar? And she said I could just go right back on because I got Jar Jar the first two times. I was like, was it Gungans or whatever? Yeah, I only, so you go to two different locations in Star Tours mm -hmm. and I got prequels every single time. I got Hoth and Coruscant, I think. It would have been cool to see Hoth. Anyway. That was um, also the Rebel Spy, so. I hate Disney. Uh, so I anyway. love Disney. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they're going down into the catacombs. Now, this callback to the Ark is cute. Yeah, and I like it, that. <laughs> it makes sense because Old Testament, New yeah. Testament. It would make sense to reference that artifact here. Yes. Like, what's that? Oh, it's the Ark of the Covenant. Apparently, there's like a cave drawing like, of What did she say? Like, are you sure? And he goes, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And then like the music plays. Yeah. I'm like, dun, oh, that's, dun, dun. that's cute. We don't need to literally see the Ark of the Covenant like they do in the next movie. It's like, okay, we already did the callback. You already did it. So the catacombs are like full of oil and rats. And we find and out. Henry that, hates rats. We find out Henry Jones hates rats. Because I don't know if you know this. Uh, when Henry Jones was younger. He tried to steal an artifact from some people who were wearing floppy hats, a peluso, as it's called in some countries. Uh, and he f he was on a train and he fell into the rat cart of the train. And that's why do they have to give a backstory? <laughs> <That's> so stupid. <laughs> why can't people just be scared of a thing? Like again, rats are a thing that you can be scared of. I personally am not. Same with snakes. I just got a snake. But no. like, you don't have to have a backstory for it. Apparently you do. Apparently people were really want wondering where did he get his fear of snakes? I need to know. <laughs> um, it, was a, it was the same circus cart. <laughs> it was the same circus cart. There's <laughs> Disney's working on the origin of that circus cart. <laughs> the see, giraffes are still alive. You see the owner of that circus cart. He was on a train and he fell into a cart full of other circus carts. <laughs> So Jesus fucking stupid. Christ. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they find the knight's uh, tomb, and they realize the shield has the re the rest of the tablet. So they make like an impression, and then a bunch of men in fez hats. And I forgot to tell you to swing by the office and bring a fez hat. Uh, they light everything on fire. So they light everything on fire, right? Yeah. They exit a different way. Yeah. Okay. These people don't have any idea, like if these people are still alive or not, they'd friggin' blew up the thing. Everything's on fire. Yeah. How 
did they get back outside and know where to look, knowing they'd come out of that sewer? I think that was just a coincidence. They were like, well, he did No, it. they came running out to look. Yeah, yeah. The same thing happens later on, too. I was like, well, what? no, they, they know the layout of the catacombs and whatnot. Yeah, but they know they see he survived. They were checking to see if he survived. Well, they couldn't they couldn't go down while it was on fire. They're probably like, let's go to the exit, make sure. And sure enough, they're coming out mm. uh, the restaurant dining area. Mm. And it leads to a very fun boat chase. Uh, there is a good moment here where he's like, are you crazy? Don't go between them. Go between them, are you crazy? It was fun seeing actual boats in an actual location. And that's not a nod to new movies over relying on CGI. That's a nod to something that happens later in this film. An action sequence that looks like garbage. Um, but the boat chase is a lot of fun. We find out that these guys are like the brotherhood Whatever it of was. the grail. Yeah, they like protect it, basically. Yes, they are like these modern day knights mm -hmm. that protect the location of the grail. They have to make sure no evildoers find them. Uh, so yeah, I like how the guy's like ready to die. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, with the propeller. Yeah, that, that, I love that scene with the propellers where like the wood just pops up for like a second. I'm like, that looks like they're going to die. Um, I don't know how accurate this boat chase is. I'll probably have to ask my good friend Captain Boomies if there are any inaccuracies. Anytime there's a boat thing in a movie now, I'm going to call up Captain Boomies. Oh my God. Uh, who I hung out with in Philly. In Philly when I didn't ruin the live show. I ruined Vito's merch, but I didn't ruin the live show. Still, he ruined something. <laughs> he reimbursed me for the cost of the shirts, by the way. <laughs> so I've actually, to be fair. Yeah. To be fair. Do you think Vito would have sold out of shirts? Oh, he wasn't even going to bring shirts. He was going to bring his card game. It, that definitely wouldn't have sold out. Those people were way I too think drunk. I him a favor. Those people were way too drunk to lug that heavy, like, thick box en enemy weapon over there. Um, there's no way he would have done that. By the way, I shot like two videos with him. I never thought to put the box on the set. <laughs> he tells him like, all right, if you're looking, cause he's like, I don't even want the grail. I just want to find out where my dad is. Can you let me know where he is? Like, okay. Even though he just killed four of my best friends. Oh, uh, let me tell you, they really literally blew up in between a boat. And he's like, okay, you seem pretty cool. I'm like, were you not friends with those guys? Um, uh, order of the cruciform sword. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what so is that? <laughs> <laughs> so he tells him it's like hey your dad is in a uh, castle on the border of berlin and germany uh and this, this uh, Aust uh, austria. Austria, austria 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 and germany um this part's kind of bullshit where like he finds out the room was trashed but elsa didn't hear it because her music was playing it's like yeah. this is indy indy come on you're smarter than that indy you're smarter than that uh, instead, he's like, I'm going to have sex with this lady in Venice. He's just blinded by the puss puss. Well, it's a very romantic city, so I don't blame him. I don't blame him. He even has to stop and like look at the camera and go, oh, Venice. Is it possible for Indiana Jones to hook up with a woman without fighting and arguing first? No. I don't think we've ever seen it. No. I don't think we've, I literally don't think we've no. ever seen him hook up with a girl without screaming, yelling, no. and no. some kind of physical. Especially in the second one. No. Yeah. <laughs> Every woman we've seen him with, there's been some fighting and arguing. That's, that's his kink. Don't kink shame. He needs to get riled up first. <laughs> they end up at the castle. Uh, and I like the call back to the beginning where she's like, what are you going to do? And he's like, I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh, which is what he says in 1912. Uh, he pretends to be Scottish. His Scottish accent is so terrible, despite the fact his dad has a thick Scottish accent. How does that happen? Lord Clarence MacDonald and his lovely assistant... Here to view the tapestries. How the fuck does that happen? His dad didn't spend a lot of time with him, so he never got to mimic it. I can't wait to explain why. Why am dead. I? <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery has a great. Uh, he, Sean Connery is great with accents. Like in Highlander, when he played an Egyptian pretending to be a Spaniard, and then he sounded more Scottish than the Scottish characters in the film. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he's pretending to be like a, an art admirer who wants mm. to look at tapestries. He's doing a terrible job. He beats the shit out of the guy. And then, of course, if I can, can't keep politics out of anything, he's like, Nazis, I hate these guys. Like, why do we got to bring politics into this? Like, can't we just enjoy uh, a good adventure without bringing... <laughs> I'm trying to imagine, like, modern-day people in 1989, like, having to watch movies. This is probably the shit that they would say. <laughs> oh, is that where that went? I was wondering where the fucking uh, eye pen holder went. But yeah, so he hates the Nazis. Who doesn't? I could pull up some accounts. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Just go to Twitter. 
<laughs> Anybody with a blue check mark? <laughs> uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> See Josh Gad saying that, like, oh, the neo Nazis are buying up. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you? Like, the celebrities, like, having meltdowns over the fact they can't have the blue check marks anymore is so funny. If you have like a million uh, uh, followers, you can get the. That was mark. the funniest thing because he gave it to them automatically, mm -hmm. and then they had to be like, oh no, it wasn't me. I, I didn't want it. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and I was like, I'm like, wait, do I like Elon Musk now? And then I checked my crypto wallet. I went, nope, I fucking hate him still. I still hate him. But that was funny. Like that was like, being a dumbass and buying crypto. That was an ultimate troll. That was so, so hilarious. Just to see everyone on their high horse be like, we'll never pay for it. And then they have it. They're like, ah! <laughs> you had a blue check mark before me. I'm just saying. Yeah, and it was a fucking waste of money and time. The only good thing about it was the edit button. That was it. Which doesn't even work on fucking mobile. Does it not work anymore? It works when it wants to. Oh. I mean, I, I know I, like, everything's breaking on that website anyway. So, Because like I fucked up a tweet. I'm like, let me edit it. The option just didn't even show up. And I was like, oh. son of a bitch. What the fuck? Well, it worked when I had it. For three weeks, you know, when you the, the trending, the hashtag, mm -hmm. you click. For three weeks, that didn't work for me. I was like, oh, so-and-so is trending. I'm like, oh, let me click. And then it'd be like, this is not working. It's not your fault. And I'm like, oh, I guess I'll just never know what's that happening. That website's such shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, Henry is shocked to see his son. He hits him with a vase, which is uh, pretty funny. Uh, Sean Connery, how do you feel about Sean Connery as Henry Jones? I love Sean Connery. You said you weren't, oh, you weren't attracted to him. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not into him. Like, mm. I'm not like, hey. Do you think him uh, slapping people in this movie was very realistic? <laughs> Looks like you knew how to do that. Bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's just say, Sean Connery. I know. Sean Connery, his wife will put on the gloves. Um, So yeah, he hits him with a vase. And I do like that Sean Connery feels like so sad. And <laughs> Indiana Jones thinks he's sorry for hitting him, but he feels sorry about the vase. He's like, oh, Meg Dynasty, you hate the scene. He's like, oh, don't worry. It's a fake. <laughs> um, That's really funny. I like the bit about... uh. Him being like, oh, like, is the journal safe or diary or whatever? And he's yeah, like, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that like, one... You, you want to bring that here with you as I already sent it out to you? Yeah, you it's like, I sent it, it to you. To Thank me? God you didn't bring it. It's like, you brought it here. I should have sent it to the Marx Brothers. <laughs> this gag was redone in uh, the newest Tomb Raider movie. They did mm. something really similar <laughs> where the guy's like, Thank God you didn't bring it. And she's like, Well, Dad, about that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, he. Uh, I do like that he murders all the Nazis, and Henry's just like not used to seeing. And he's like, "Oh look what you did! Oh my god!" Because <laughs> I don't know if Henry. I guess Henry didn't fight in any wars. I think we're supposed to assume that Indiana Jones at least fought in World War One. It was nineteen twelve. He was a teenager. He probably would have fought in World War One at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Henry's not used to murdering. Meanwhile, Andy's like, no, I've killed a lot of Germans. <laughs> I killed a lot of people. Well, during and after the war. Could you believe it? I wasn't enough. I had to keep killing oh them. Oh my God. Um, I like that Henry spoils the twist about Elsa. And it's like, Elsa, he's like, oh no, she's a Nazi. Let her go. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, what? He's no, not, no, she's a Nazi. He's not going to shoot her. She's a Nazi. What do you mean? <laughs> and, not going to shoot her. <laughs> and of course, Andy falls for it. Oh no, a blonde hair, blue eyed woman's a Nazi. I couldn't believe Mm. My right. eyes are blue, yes. Mm. You put some blonde in your hair. <laughs> I'm a natural br uh, brunette, though. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, wh where's majority of your family right now? Huh? Where's majority of your family right now? Don't the they have to, like, flee, flee somewhere because, you know... It, look, it's a big coincidence <laughs> uh -huh. that a lot of people with my last name are, are in Argentina. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Mm. In Italy, Peluso means hairy. In Argentina, it means, flop yeah, it it means floppy hat. Um, <laughs> I was shocked when I found out that's literally what it meant. Mm. Anyway, so yeah, the, the twist is that she is the bad guy. Um, but she's not like bad, bad. Yeah, it's kind of like... Kind of like how Belloc didn't really care so much about the yeah. Nazis. He more cared about the artifact itself. Uh, but then there's an even bigger twist that Donovan's the bad guy. Blah, blah, blah. I warn you not to trust anybody, Dr. Jones. And again, he's kind of like Belloc, too. He just yeah. seems like a not as interesting Belloc. Yeah. He really, he kind of looks like Belloc, and it's like, just not as interesting. Like, okay. 
I guess. Like, surprise, this guy is actually Belloc. Like, cool. Awesome. We find out that the book is missing a map, and uh, they gave it to Marcus Brody. And I do love this uh, this setup where he's like, Marcus Brody knows all these people. He's probably found it already. Cut to Marcus just being like, does anyone know English? What's going on? <laughs> so then Sala tries to save him. And now Sala has the Fez that we all remember, which we realize when we watch Raiders, like he doesn't have the Fez in the first yeah. one. He does a bad job of uh, kidnapping. Uh, he, he does a bad job of saving him. Apparently there was a deleted scene where Sala punched a camel or something. Why? I was looking up some deleted scenes, uh, and I guess he slapped a cat. I think he slapped a camel to like have it react to fuck up the Nazis. But yeah, so the Nazis just had a, a fake truck. No, they had a truck in front of a fake store. Hmm. That was that was convenient. Hmm. How did they know he would There's end up there? There's a lot of convenience in this. Yeah, how would they know he would end up there? Hmm. But I'm glad Sala gets his own action scene. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. Where he's just like, ah, oh, run. <laughs> you know, run. <laughs> Mark is just oblivious to all of it. <laughs> So yeah, they uh, they leave the Jones in the castle, but we also find out that here's the even bigger twist: uh, El Elsa slept with both of them, <laughs> which I was like, oof, that's oof, oof, that's that's gross, that's gross. Get it, girl. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I do like uh, they find out that once they have Marcus Brody, which by the way, after Indy hyping it up like ten minutes later, they have Marcus in custody. He's like, oh, you have orders to kill the Joneses. Uh, the Germany's declared war on the Jones boys. Uh, they try to escape and they accidentally cause a fire. And they have that secret. There's like a secret lever in the fireplace yep. that leads you to the Nazi station. Yeah. And there's a lady Nazi there. I swear to God. <laughs> anyway, there's a lady Nazi there. Uh, but they get out and, uh, Indiana Jones heroically, uh, lights them all on fire. He murders a woman. In the, how many women do you think he's going to murder in Dial of Destiny? They're Nazi. They're not safe. <laughs> they're not safe. Or if they're a commie, because, well, I guess, no, he didn't kill, he didn't kill Kate Blanchett in the next one. The aliens. Oh, yeah, the aliens the got aliens her. aliens killed her. Oh, I got a funny joke for Kingdom oh, of the Crystal no. Skull for that scene. I've been, like, counting down oh, the days to legend. No. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, they get out. Uh, they escape the castle through another secret passage. And it's like, how many secret passages are in this castle? <laughs> this one, there's, like, a chair that you have to sit on to make a staircase. Oh, yeah. yeah. The motorcycle chase is awesome. Isn't it, Johanna? Those <laughs> That motorcycle? But I was looking at the flip, and it's like, why did he let go of the handlebars? Because, uh, what you call it? It's a very exciting scene. Like, he, like, fucking spears the one dude uh he knocks all the other he knocks one uh motorcycle out and the other two flip over it and then he puts the one in the spokes and they flip what i was looking at i mean obviously it's a dummy obviously the real reason is it's a dummy that they had to secure but it's, i was thinking about it realistically I'm like what do you let go of the handlebars this guy was uh. like nope i'm holding on and he sp spins like six times that seems awesome i i don't agree with henry not being impressed by it because he looks back and henry's like I'm like, no, fuck you. I'd be like, that's the most awesome thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Maybe shit. He doesn't condone murder. I don't... <laughs> he was very religious. He was very religious. So yeah, they're like, okay, we got to go to Egypt. Let's go. Let's go. And it's like, no, we got to go to Berlin. And Indiana Jones is like, that's like the worst place we could possibly go. That is the, that is literally the worst place on earth right now. Um, unless you look like Johanna. Um, but yeah, he uh, he tells him, it's like, no, look, the, my diary has uh, the hints and tricks, kind of like the secret codes uh, book I have there to beat video games. He's like, my diary's got the secret codes to beat the traps at the uh, Grail Shrine. What? Didn't know this existed. Yeah, Blockbuster used to sell those. So he, the, I like the whole thing. He's like, Dad, why don't you just don't remember? He's like, no, I wrote it down so I don't have to remember. It's like. If this is your life's work, you should probably remember certain things. Yeah. Uh, then they bring up the mom. They don't mention the mom too much. Mm -mm. It's a little unclear. We're like. She is. She died, right? She died. I think it's suggesting that, like, she wasn't bothered by Henry's work, even though Indy thinks so. But then Henry admits that she, like, I think he says she hid her omens from me. So I think maybe she got sick and just didn't tell them mm. in time. Um. But yeah, they go to Berlin. 
Uh, Elsa's sad about the book burning because they're burning so many great books, I guess. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what books they're burning. What books were popular in Germany at that time? It's not about popularity. It's about burning things that don't fit their agenda. <sighs> A week of... We have that today. People try to ban and boycott stuff all the time today. Yeah, like buying Bud Light and then... Yeah. The People fuck? are so stupid. I know a guy who keeps updating me on how much money they're losing, and then I have to keep showing him the stats on Robin Hood that shows that their stock is still up for, like, the year. Like it do they specifically look at, like, Bud Light, or do they, like... No, Anheuser-Busch, okay. all together. Um, because that's the thing, like... They're like, oh, it was the most successful boycott. I'm like, not really. People are going to forget about it in a few months. Like, it's, like, it's so stupid. It's, it's so... Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't even drink it anyway, so I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, they're like, yeah, they lost $4 billion. It's like, you don't know how stocks work. Whatever. It would say. have lost if everyone sold their share, but not everyone sold their share. So they did not lose $4 billion. People are so stupid. Ugh. Whatever. Anyway. They're going to use the Dial of Destiny to go back in time, and Indiana Jones is going to be throwing Bud Light into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen the future. <laughs> Wait, why is he homophobic? I don't know, because he's from the early 1900s. He probably would be, to be honest. Oh, my God. He probably would Captain be. Captain America wasn't. We didn't see those scenes. <laughs> we didn't see those scenes. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway... <laughs> she has the diary on her. Yeah, she has the diary. She saved it from getting burnt. Uh, and he, like, threatens to murder her. And he's like, all I have to do is squeeze. She's like, all I have to do is scream. And it's like, okay, we're at a stalemate. I'm going to leave you alone now. Uh, but she gives Indy the book. Um, and then Indiana Jones bumps into Hitler and doesn't kill him. He would have died right then and there. It wouldn't have been worth it. Oh, my God. It would have been worth it. <laughs> nah, never mind. America wasn't in the war yet. Never mind. <laughs> Indiana Jones is an American man. He's like, is this our problem yet? Nah. All right. I don't care. Um, I'll wait five or six years or whatever <laughs> until we're in there. Uh, but yeah, Indiana Jones could have stopped everything. That's not true. Another person would have. Yeah. It, yeah. However, speaking of Hitler, uh, he is played by Michael Sheard who was also an admiral in Empire Strikes Back. He's the guy uh, Vader force chokes through the screen. Oh! Yeah. But he also played the submarine captain in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hmm. And in this scene, uh, Ronald Lacey, who played Tote, is one of the, like, the German higher-ups, the guy with the little monocle. That's mm -hmm. him. But they never do a close-up on him. Oh. So he came back. The, both of them came back for different roles. Um, I think there was, like more of a scene of like Hitler and his like top guys marching together, but they just trimmed it down there. You only see like a wide shot of him with his little mustache. I did giggle that he got his autograph. <laughs> yeah. I did like that. He like bumps it and like Hitler doesn't know what the book, cause he's just signing autographs. And he's like, okay. imagine what crazy things we've signed at conventions. Cause we're not paying attention <laughs> now because of this movie. I'm going to have to like, look and be like, what am I signing? What is this? What is this? So yeah, that's a close call. That is kind of a cool scene to see. Indy with basically his main bad guy that he never really encounters ever again until we find out in the Dial of Destiny that uh, Indiana Jones is the one who killed him during the war. Uh, I'm sure that'll be a thing. Mm. Then they board a cartoon blimp. The blimp looks terrible. It's a Zeppelin. Whatever. Uh, it looks terrible. It never looked real to me. It never will look real to me. It looks like a straight up cartoon. Like, I don't know what they were thinking here. It looks bad, right? Like the blue it, no, screen of them walking up to it is pretty bad. Even later on when they're getting in the tiny oh, plane. Oh, God, I'm getting to that. Yes. Uh, so the Nazis board the plane, and this is the only time we see Pat Roach as the big muscle mm -hmm. Nazi because they cut out his entire fight. I tried to look. It's never been released. Mm. There was apparently a TV special or some video that was released of like famous Hollywood like fights and stunts. And they had footage. That? They had footage of the deleted fight scene in that. Huh. But it's not. It's never been released. Mm. Um, but I do like the uh, the whole thing where he like <laughs> kicks the guy out. That was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> ticket. <Yeah. laughs> Everybody's just like, ah. Uh, then they have a scene where they just sit and talk. In Indy and Henry uh, about their childhood and what they could have done better. And he's like, Dad, you were a shitty dad. He's like, I was a great dad. I gave you your independence. 
by not fathering you very well. Uh, but this is a very important thing. The reason Henry is such a bad dad is because he was 12 years old when he had Indiana Jones. Because Sean Connery and Harrison Ford are only 12 years apart. And look, kids can't have kids, okay? You okay? And you know what's really stressful for Henry is that he's so Christian that he had, he had to have gotten married at 12 years old and then had that kid. So cut him a break, Indy. You know, he wasn't ready to be a dad. Were, were you ready to be a mom at 12? I definitely wasn't ready to be a dad at 12. He'll never be ready enough to be He'll a never dad. be ready. I'm not, I'm not ready now. <laughs> at the ripe age of 25, like I am now, I'll never be ready. Uh... <laughs> I think he's. I think we're supposed to imply that he's older, but I like thinking that he was twelve years old when he had India. That's why he's such a shitty dad. <laughs> um, a twelve-year-old immigrant, by the way, he wasn't ready to have this kid. So the blimp turns around and they get into a plane to escape, and the blue screen's rough. The, it's so bad. It it like is distracting from an otherwise like fun scene. Like I love the things that are happening. Like. Hit, like Henry not realizing what the clock means. It's like 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, the it's just a rough blue screen. It reminds me of um, Return of the Jedi when they're on the sand dude going to the Sarlacc pit. Mm. Like that's a rough blue screen too. Mm. And it's like, ah, this, like there were only a couple shots in the earlier movies that look kind of bad and we've called them out. But this whole sequence, every yeah. time it cuts to the cockpit, I'm like, they're not like there. It's, it's, it's jarring. Um, but it is kind of a fun scene. I like that he shoots the tail. He's like, they got us. Which I've definitely, I've 100% been like, I've definitely like broken something. and be like, can you believe they broke that? I, I tried to stop him. <laughs> I learned that lesson from this. I, I I'm do, like, oh, if no one sees you, you can blame it on someone else. I do like when they switch over to the car and they go through the tunnel. And yeah. the plane just decides, oh, I'm going to crash through this that, tunnel too. That cracked me up. I'm like, like what did that pilot think was going to happen? And they're next to each other. I do like the pilot looks and he's like, what the fuck's going on here? And then he doesn't eject when he gets out of the tunnel. No, he just explodes. <laughs> and even the blue screen in the car is rough too. I do like when he's just like, they don't get closer than that. And then a bomb drops next to him. And then Henry murders a flock of seagulls to yeah, kill. What the hell? He remembered his poetry. Oh my God. And then he murdered a flock of seagulls. The band flock of seagulls. <laughs> With their hair. They're like, ah, he chased the flock of seagulls with an umbrella. Uh, but no, that is a, that was a fun scene. Back in Nazi. Uh, Back in Nazi. <laughs> Back in Egypt, uh, Donovan is trying to bribe some Egyptian leader uh, to give him like a, like a small army and whatnot. Mm. And they offer him like priceless treasures from the finest uh, families in Germany. And the guy's like, I want the car. Yeah, I want he the car. He knows the, he kind knows of like the, the turbo engine thing. Yeah, he knows the whatever. whole specs of the, he knows the, the car speed. facts. He looked up the car facts and oh he's just God. like, oh, this, this. And I like when he goes, I even like the color. Uh, and he's like, all right, because of this car, I'm going to give you tanks. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you that. And they're like, thank you. Uh, and then we find out the brotherhood of the whatever sword is there yes. spying. This is another funny gag where they drive to the uh, canyon of the crescent moon. <laughs> I like where he's like, Dad, we're well out of range of this tank. And then it blows up their fucking car. So the Brotherhood attacks. And he's trying to steal Nazi horses. And in the meantime, Henry sneaks into the tent, uh, the tank. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he was thinking. Because right away they get caught. And he's getting slapped over and over again by the uh, Nazi. Tables have turned on Sean Connery. I have they not? Deserved. <laughs> Uh, and no, this tank scene is fun. Yeah. But it feels like they're trying to one up the chase scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. That's how it feels to me. Mm. Uh, but no, it is a fun, fun scene. It gets a little ridiculous. Uh, I mean, it's Indiana Jones. When, when, when the car like jumps up on the tank, so they got to shoot it off. Uh, I like where he has to like plug up the cannon to blow <laughs> I like that, that up. Yeah. And obviously like the dumbest funniest thing is when he shoots the nazis in a row uh no it's like a re really well done action scene i just feel like they're just trying to up the ante from the first one where it's like i would have liked a different kind of action scene honestly the plane scene would have been refreshing if it didn't look like shit uh oh one little detail so in between this and temple of doom indy has learned to fly 
but he hasn't learned to land. land yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, I can fly. I, I, I can't land. Which he landed pretty well. <laughs> cuts to the clip of Harrison Ford crashing his plane, <laughs> which I did in the last <laughs> one. <laughs> he crashed into the golf course. Mm -hmm. One of the times he crashed his plane. Yeah, there's a big scene between him and the, the like main Nazi guy. Uh, and he goes off the cliff. He also won't let go. When it cuts to an yeah. obvious when it cuts to an obvious miniature and a toy, like the toy they clearly strapped it to the top of the tank. But if you're thinking about it realistically, it's like, wait, so he held on to the top, he didn't just let go. Uh, but it blows up and everyone's sad because they think Indiana Jones died. But it turns out he was alive. And it's a very yes. sad scene, but I think it was done better in Thugs versus Dinosaurs. Because my character, whatever his name was, is it on the DVD? No, my, my character's name is not. So whoever I played in this movie, Thugs vs. Dinosaurs, at one point we think the main character died. And uh, Johanna, I went one step further than Sean Connery. I actually sing in that scene. I start to sing Amazing Grace. And then I realize that he's alive, so. Amazing Grace. How sweet. Oh, he's alive. I like how Henry's like sad. He's like, there was so I, all that wasted time. Oh God. Oh God. And then as soon as he finds out he's alive, they're like, okay, yeah, he's just like, let's get on right, the horses. Let's get out of here. <laughs> um, so the, the Nazis are volunteering the Egyptian soldiers to go get the grail. Yeah. And they're not doing a good job. Their heads are being cut off. So the, what you call it? The Jones boys get caught. And Donovan's like, Indy, you're going to go get it for us using your dad's notes. And he's like, what makes you think I'll do that? And they shoot his dad. Yep. But if he gets the grail in time, he can save his dad. He's mortally wounded. He's like, I'll help you, James Bond, oh my God. who I am based off of partially. So, yeah, he's got to go into the thing. I, this is like my favorite scene in the movie. I love this whole temple thing. When he's trying to figure out everything. Yeah, this yeah. is like the thing I remember the most when I first saw it as a kid. Like everything else was fun, but I was like, oh, okay, this is like a whole different level. Uh, so first he has to be the penitent, penitent man, must kneel before God. And then he's like, oh, I have to kneel. And there's these big buzz saws that come out. He's like, that's what it is. So it's weird because it's like, okay, so they're not magic. They're clearly man-made. I think we're led to believe that the three knights made all these traps. Mm. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he he avoids his head getting cut off by kneeling. Although I do feel like the blade underneath is a bit cheating. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like that's yeah. cheating. Whatever. What if a little person went there and he didn't kneel? He was just... Just stand up. Walk right through. Yeah. Hmm. They didn't account for that. Hmm. Those knights. Fucking stupid. He has to spell the name of God. But he gets the, the letter wrong. Yeah, he uh, steps on the J inside of the I. Yes, which is a fun gag. But then I thought about it. I'm like, I would like just get like a pole and just like poke all of them. Yeah. Or yeah. Even just like lightly step on each one and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, I would just get a pole and be like, psh, 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 psh. Or when he fell underneath, you know, peeked down. It's like, okay, it's that one, that one, that one. Uh, apparently this scene went on longer. Uh, I guess he was going to fall through another hole and like tarantulas were going to come out. Mm, new fear. <laughs> no, he's not afraid of tarantulas. No, he will be after that. Uh, well, no, if, if Raiders of the Lo uh, Lost <laughs> no, Ark didn't I know, I know. scare him. The, 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 the canyon of the lion's head or whatever. First off, the blue screen to put him in that match shot, rough. That's the classic, like, the color correction doesn't match. Yeah. It's rough. Is it invisible, the bridge? I, I never know. Like, people said it's painted. It's like, yeah, but he, he would just have to go, like, go like this. Like, oh, there's something here. If I go like this. I thought it was, like, a trick of the light, maybe. I don't know. It's not really well explained. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I get the idea. I yeah. get the idea because, you know, you have to be a man of faith, take a leap of faith. And it's like, oh, there is a physical bridge here. You just can't see it. But, yeah, I never really understood how it worked. Like, it's it's a little Whatever. confusing. Whatever. Uh, but while he's doing this, he's making sure, like, everyone knows how to get past it. So he, I do like the shot of him throwing the dust on it. Mm -hmm. The next uh, thing is to beat the knight in single combat. He wins right away. So the the, the grail will give you everlasting life, but no energy. I mean, he's like old, old as heck. So. so you're still aging, just aging slowly. I would assume. That's a shit deal. You'd want to be young forever. Then what's the point of living forever if you're just going to be a fucking dinosaur? Mm. Uh, but yeah, the knight, the knight looks relieved. 
He's like, finally, someone can replace me. Oh, God, I, I've been waiting for this. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, you got to pick the grail. Make sure you pick the right one. You're going to fuck up. Uh, by the way, you can't leave. <laughs> it's like, well, that sucks, too. What's the point of this thing? <laughs> so Donovan yeah. and Elsa comes in, and Donovan makes the worst mistake anyone could. Trusting a woman. <laughs> All women do Thank is God. eat hot chip and lie. Yeah. Hot chip Be and bisexual, lie. charge they phone, <laughs> eat hot chip and lie. Um, I remember when I watched this, I learned a valuable lesson that day. Oh At a young God. age, I'm like, I'll never trust. I'll never trust a blonde-haired, blue-eyed she-demon. Oh, my God. I'm just saying, you dyed your hair blonde. It's, it's suspicious. There's highlights. It's not even blonde. Elon Musk buys Twitter. You dye your hair blonde. It's, the timing of it is very suspicious. He bought it away. Ago, this is new. <laughs> I bet you made the appointment a while ago. Oh <laughs> You're just gonna get it. <laughs> I swear to God. So yeah, Donovan uh, drinks from the most gaudy grail they could find. He has chosen poorly. poorly. And yeah, the D uh, or the advanced aging, it looks cool, but compared to like what we saw in the last two movies, it's especially not, Raiders. Yeah, it's not as scary as the other ones. I'll just kind of like, oh, okay. No, yeah, I get the idea. I get the idea. Yeah. Uh, but he dies. He dies. Another one bites the dust. Yes. Uh, and Indy's just like, wait a minute. It's a cup of a carpenter. It won't It won't be gaudy and whatnot. Uh, but then I started thinking about it. I'm like, I don't think, I don't think Jesus made the cup. Weren't they at, like, just some place? <laughs> they were at, like, somebody's house. Yeah. Huh. We could just mm -mm. use the cup. Did they? <laughs> Whatever. Seems a little odd. Whatever. Seems a lot. I mean, I agree. It well, I mean, he wouldn't be hanging around like rich people anyway. That's what I agree. I'm just like, yeah, no, I would agree. It's like, oh, wait, he wouldn't have a super gold pal. Like, he was poor and all his friends were poor. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the whole like the whole thing, it's like, it's a cup of a carpenter. I'm like, are we implying that Jesus made the cup? Um, but, yeah, so he made, the, he made the cup, apparently, and he drinks it, and he's fine. He chose wisely. But he you can't. Have chosen wisely. Yeah. And I bet the knight was like, okay. So I'll show you around. And then Indy's like, I got to leave. He's like, what? What the fuck? I thought, I thought you're the new guy. I wanted to retire. Indy really should be like, dude, you don't want to retire right now. It's kind of a shit show. <laughs> it's kind of a shit show. Uh, so yeah, he leaves. He saves Henry. He saves Henry. And the knight also said you can't pass the seal with the. Yeah. Cup. He's like, that's the boundary. You can have, you can have eternal life and live forever. As long as you hang out in this stupid fucking cave. Uh, and reset the death traps. Is he resetting the saw blade? Does he have like a lever where he has to reset? Probably. The saw? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about the, the when they step on the thing? Does he have to make a new stone and carve it? Maybe. Mm. A painting that bridge has got to be a. Dick. He probably has like a bunch in the back. He, he gets bored. He has nothing <laughs> else to do, so he's probably literally just making everything. If they left the, it in the back. if they left the tarantula thing, does he breeding tarantulas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's his hobby. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> imagine like that lion head falls and he has to remember what a lion looks like. He's like, I don't even fucking remember what it looks like. <sighs> um, so yeah, he saves Henry's life. Everyone's happy. But then Elsa picks up the grail and she's just like walking backwards with yeah. it for she, I, some reason. I don't know why. So it is cool to see Henry look at the grail because that's like been his life's work. And he's like so amazed that it exists. But yeah, like, she just saw all this evidence that the Grail is legit. Why would she think the shield was the one part that didn't work? And she's like, let's leave. It's like, no, the knight told us not to. How much more evidence do you need to know that this is not a good thing to do? So, of course, everything starts to collapse. Uh, the Grail conveniently falls, and she's just so full of greed. She's not righteous. She falls to her death. Which, that, that tripped me up as a kid, because I'm used to the guy getting the cute girl at the end. Yeah, well, she was also an asshole, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, as, remember, as a young kid, I didn't know what a Nazi was. Or else I... <laughs> yeah, I know. Or else... You ran around in the costume. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Raiders, I ended up dressing up as a Nazi for a play. Temple of Doom, I ended up dressing as a Chinese person for a play. Oh, and then this movie, people wearing fez hats. I played Aladdin. <laughs> I played Aladdin in Angry Hashtag Video. Hashtag cancel Tony. <laughs> but I didn't do blackface as Aladdin. 
If I did, I could be the Prime Minister of Canada. Why are people like this? <laughs> stop, bring, stop bringing up politics. Like, you bring up the can. We have a lot of Canadians watch the show. They love him. So yeah, I, this scene is great. You know, Indy thinks he can reach the Grail, but then Henry, whose life work was to find the Grail, is just like, no, let it go. Indiana, let it go. Let it go. Yeah, and then cool. everyone who had a bad relationship with their dad watches this, and they start holding back tears. And they're like, I wish my dad. <laughs> would have realized the I error. I felt bad for the night. Yeah, and like, he's just like, oh, bye. And I'm like, huh? oh. No, because the knight's sitting there. He's like, I got to go down there and find that fucking thing. <laughs> I got to reset this whole thing by myself. I had help last time when I was young and spry and I had two brothers. Oh like, I, I got to fucking, oh, God, do I have a shovel? Because then the entrance gets collapsed. He's he got to think. He's got to be like, I don't even have a shovel. Can you guys leave me a shovel? Or does God just come down and take the cup and be like, all right, you're good, buddy. God literally just comes down and goes like this and everything's fixed. At what point do you just snap? Like, that, that's what happened on Lost when they had to reset the button and the one guy just got so tired of doing it. He's like, I'm just going to see what happens if I don't do it. And that's what led to the plane crash. Spoiler for Lost. Um, what was that? Also, Sunshine. You ever seen the movie Sunshine? Mm -hmm. Like, I just went crazy looking at the sun all the day. All right. Um... So yeah, he, him and his dad, they finally reunite and they finally love each other. And like Henry realizes the error of his way. He's like, you know what? My son is more important to me than the cup of Christ. And then the knight does wave at them. Mm -hmm. But really, I think he was saying like, can you give me a shovel? Can you help me clean this up? Can you help? And then they're just leaving and they're like, bye knight. He's like, no, come back. Okay. <laughs> Poor guy. Then they get on their horses. We find out Indiana came from the dog. I'm sure they tried to work that into the opening and they couldn't figure out how to do it. Thank God. They, Thank they, God. He came home and the dog's bark and he's like, hi, Indiana. Like, I'm sure that was a scene they thought about doing. But yeah, he named himself after a dog. He loved his dog. You gonna name yourself after your dogs? I already have a name, so no. So did Henry Jones Jr. Yeah, but he was a child. It was just like, all right, I'm gonna change my name. You're gonna come in one day and you'll be like, I'm Bear. <laughs> oh, okay. You're like, I'm bear now. I'm like, oh, okay, Johanna. That's a weird. Yeah. I'm sorry, bear. I'm sorry, bear. <laughs> oh, my God. It's All gonna, right. It's going to be confusing because I look more like a bear than you do. Anyway, they get on their horses and they ride into the sunset. And it's like, you know what, Johanna? Even though it's not her favorite, I feel like it's a very good ending to the ending Indi to the, yeah yeah it was yeah. a good ending the to the trilogy. It was a good ending. This was more about Indiana Jones personally and his backstory, and whatnot. So it feels like a good ending. Uh, and then they ruined it. Yeah, they ruined it. And even Spielberg didn't want to come back to do a fourth one. But did we see that together too? We did. Crystal okay. We did. We didn't hate it the first time we saw it, uh, which we'll talk about next time. And that's finally when we'll talk about the heist of the century. When we pulled off the heist of the century. <laughs> People are like really <laughs> anticipating what the heist of the century is. And you guys are going to be just as disappointed yeah. <laughs> as we were when we pulled off the heist of the century. We were like, oh, I thought that would have been a lot cooler. <laughs> um, so yes, that is it. The Last Crusade. I think it's fine. It's fine and fun. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine and fun. I Look, obviously they're wrong. But if people said that this is a better sequel than Temple of Doom, I could see where they're coming from. Obviously, they're wrong. Uh, but when people say, like, this is the best one. This is not the best one. I know we're the, the oddballs that consider Temple of Doom. But if you compare no, this to like, just Raiders, Raiders, yeah, Raiders, uh, yeah, is, yeah, Raiders is so much better. Raiders is way better than this. And I, I know it's fun to see Sean Connery mm. and whatnot. But, like, he was in other movies. Um, it was because it is kind of cool because he was kind of based off him. You know, they tried to. They tried to do that with Pirates of the Caribbean where they're like, what's his face? The guy from Rolling Stones was kind of, they based. Oh, yeah. What's they name? based uh, J uh, Jack Sparrow off him. Then they worked him in and it wasn't as yeah, fun as yeah. this. Uh, was yeah. Three, right? Yeah. And then he showed up in four and he's in the fl five Whatever. flashback. Um, yeah, it's a solid time. It was one of the biggest movies of 1989. Not the biggest. By the way, I looked at top grossing films in 1989. And I forgot like Rain Man is in there. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, there was just a time where just like a normal drama for adults can be the top 10 highest grossing film. Not some Disney bullshit or superhero stuff or cartoons and Pixar or some franchise thing. Oh, you could just have a movie about like some guy and his autistic brother could be top 10. We'll mm -hmm. never see those days again. 
every year you look at the top ten, it's like franchise, 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 yeah. franchise. Unless Avatar or something. Marvel. Avatar one was the exception, but that was because it's a guy who was responsible for so much franchise shit. Uh, but yeah, um, I'd say check it out if you're rewatching oh, these definitely movies. Check it out. Uh, they're fun. I'd say stop there. Just, just stop there. Stop there. Yeah. I mean, watch our review of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull when we get to it. Uh, but don't actually watch the movie. That'd be fucking stupid. Why would you do that? Uh, and definitely don't see Dial of Destiny. Wait for our review. We'll do a full review of it. Ugh. A proper review. I'm You're really not excited? To, I'm, I saw the trailer for it when I went to see Guardians and I was just like, oh, God damn it. He's going to make me sit through this. Yeah. We kind of have to. We kind of have to. These these episodes do pretty well, so we kind of have to. Um, oh, I know, but pain. part part of me was like, "Oh, do we just wrap it into a, a monthly wrap up?" I'm like, "Nah, I think it needs its dedicated review." I'm doing it with the Flash, also. That's getting its own dedicated review. Mm. I got a funny idea for the Flash. I got to tell you about it afterwards because oh, you have no. you have to let me know if it's too much. Oh no! You have to let me know if it's oh, too no. much. Um. Anyway. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what Indiana Jones movie is your favorite. Are you excited for the new one? Send stuff to our mailbox, our P.O. box. And, uh, yeah, what other stuff do we got going on? Oh, we're going to be at VHS Fest. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if you are, but people will be at VHS Fest at... Uh, shit. I knew I was going to forget. I knew I was going to fucking forget. I think it's July 6th? July 7th and 8th. We will be there both days. Uh, I will be, and members of the Hack the Movies crew will be there. I'll get a confirmation on who's actually going. Uh, June, end of June, we will be at Too Many Games. We have a panel and signing, but as of this recording, I haven't figured out which day for either. Uh, but we'll be hanging around there. And uh, so professional. The VHS Fest was on me for not uh -huh. having it up. I haven't, as of this, I know I will have a panel and signing. I just don't know when it is. Mm. Um, so keep following our socials for that. And, uh, yeah, new merch soon. I've been looking into different manufacturers for the merch. It would have been nice to have some merch when I went to a certain big event. Yeah, it would have, would have been nice. I'm working on it. The will be merch soon. So check that out and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.